When people you care about or love forsake you, it's natural to slink into the corner and lick your wounds for a while. Even though you don't admit it, your pain may have morphed into more deep-seated issues and you find it difficult to trust people. In this video, I will share with you 9 signs you have trust issues. 1. You predict how people will betray you without evidence of betrayal. If you are with someone who has a track record of misdeeds, a lack of trust is appropriate. You should proceed fully aware of his or her potential to be devious. However, many people tend to have trust issues with people who never shown any sign of unworthiness. How do you expect that someone who has never shown any sign for you to doubt him or her will betray you? Well, the best answer is that you are probably holding on to a betrayal from the past and casting it into the perceived future, contaminating the present relationship. Another reason why you would continuously think betrayal is if you have the mind to betray someone, so you believe that everyone is like you. In all, if you always think of people crossing you, then you have trust issues. 2. Your connections are shallow Are you a kind of person who never gets committed in a relationship for the fear that you might get hurt? Well, the chances are that you suffer from trust issues. So, even if you are a deep thinking and feeling person, you keep your relationships on the surface. You are afraid to let anyone into your inner circle because you don't trust them not to reject you when they see the real you. In many cases, you will put on a show to become the kind of person you think others will find lovable or fun to be around. But when the curtain slips and people begin to get close to you and see more of your nature, you might push them away to protect yourself. In this situation, your trust issues dictate how you respond to others. If you do not take out time to sort this issue, you may never get into an intimate relationship and you may end up being lonely at all times. 3. You see genuine mistakes as gross breaches of trust. People are imperfect. We all know that. However, if you have trust issues, even though you know that everyone is flawed, you may not be able to tolerate others' imperfection. You will see every mistake with prejudice of trust issues. For example, your partner fails to have your back and challenge your attackers to send some of their arrows in his direction too. Rather than chalk it up to an honest mistake or misunderstanding, you see this failure as a sign that he does not see you as worth defending. It feels personal, even if he never intended it that way. And no matter how many times he apologizes or tries to make up for it, you still doubt he loves you enough to have your back. So, you keep the walls up and become overtly sensitive of every little thing he does. 4. You seek revenge our relationships form a critical piece of who we are. So when we lose them, especially if the fault is not from us, we may flounder on different planes. People with trust issues usually guard themselves as much as they can from getting hurt. However, if peradventure they get hurt, they are vengeful and will seek revenge. Sadly, their revenge is not always targeted to the person that hurt them but to whoever they perceive will hurt them. For instance, when he gets hurt by someone he loves, a person with trust issues will hurt other people who love him and even earn the title player. Though revenge might seem sweet, it's never the answer when your heart is broken because your quest for revenge may hinder you from finding true love and affection. 5. Suspicion People who have serious trust problems are usually very wary of the actions of other people. For instance, if someone compliments them genuinely, their thought is generally that demand will be placed on them if they accept the compliment. So, they will always reply with, what do you want? Instead of responding with a thank you, their fears sometimes make people around them see threats through a magnifying lens. For a scared person, any unexplained action, good or bad, becomes like pressure to them and uncertainty is always given a negative meaning. Being excessively suspicious of other people's act at all times is a sign that you have trust issues. 6. You don't delegate tasks People might not want to delegate tasks to others for various reasons, but one common reason is a lack of trust. When a person develops trust issues, they fear losing control to any other person and this is why they hardly delegate any tasks to them. Also, people with trust issues hardly trust anyone to handle things as well as they do, 
so they would instead carry functions by themselves. As a leader, if you find it challenging to delegate activities to your team members, then chances are that you have trust issues. 7. You are always thinking of the worst-case scenario One analogy that explains the perspective from which people view life is the half-glass-of-water illustration. While the optimistic individual sees a half-glass cup as half-full, the pessimistic sees it as half-empty. Whereas to the pragmatic, the water should be drunk already. Skeptical individuals usually have trust issues and negativity is one attitude portrayed by them. Rather than be appreciative and hope for the best, they would instead imagine how it would be if things go wrong. Indeed, it is essential to put both the good and bad consequences into consideration while making decisions. However, individuals with trust issues will only picture the worst-case scenario. If you are always the one to predict the negative results from situations, you probably are not just being careful, as you may think, but you have trust issues. 8. You are perceived as self-righteous and unforgiven. Do you intend to forgive others and move on? Yet you are held back by the fear of letting people get close enough to hurt you again. Do you find it difficult to let go of hurts to the extent that you keep reminding yourself and even the people who hurt you how they have made you feel? Well, people who have trust issues often make themselves appear like saints while they make others feel terrible. They never stop talking about people's mistakes even when amendments have been made constantly reminding of their past failures and always comparing your good deeds with other people's wrong shows that you have trust issues. 9. Happy relationships trigger feelings of emptiness or despair. Have you ever walked past a happy couple laughing over dinner and reasoned, how do they do it? You are a little surprised at how people cope with intimacy, so much so that you tell yourself, I don't want that. Your thought is that every relationship ends in separation, so you would rather be alone. However, most times this fear of intimacy may be because you imagine a similar scene with you and someone you once trusted. If thoughts about your past relationship make you feel empty, disappointed and tired, then you most likely have trust issues. Trust issues may be your number one obstacle to connection, warmth and intimacy. You need to heal and learn to start trusting again. In American journalist Ernest Hemingway's words, the best way to find out if you can trust somebody is to trust them.